I'm Strongest Legend is a game that I somehow found on Steam. After seeing the price and trailer, I knew I had to play it. There's basically nothing to say about this game's gameplay that can't be understood from just playing it for two seconds. Or just the controls listed right here. You play as the strongest legend, a brave hero who is both powerful and righteous. The story of this game is episodic by level, explained by these fine gentlemen right here. The first level requires you, the strongest legend, to fend off the evil intruders who are supposedly attacking and kidnapping people. While I'm sure these guys are guilty, it looks to me that they aren't really posing much of a threat to anyone. The actual requirements for the level are listed here, so you can see that you need to defeat the two bosses and get to the goal. There isn't much indication of it other than this symbol over the character, but these guys here are actually the bosses. With them defeated, we can go to the goal and move on to level 2. Level 2 requires the strongest legend to save some girl named Lilia. Not a problem for the strongest legend. This level is easier than going to the bathroom. Level 2 also introduces these barrels, which explode when attacked. This explosion doesn't damage the strongest legend though. That would be absurd. The strongest legend is resistant to fire damage. Finally, level 3 requires the strongest legend to fend off the foes who are attacking the navy. You may notice that this level looks quite different from the previous two. That is because the strongest legend is operating a VF-97 aircraft. The UI and controls are also completely different for this level. A bold choice if you ask me, but I think it might have been done on purpose. Level 3 actually requires the strongest legend to defeat 30 enemies. The enemies, by the way, are still the same model as before. They're just flying around in a T-pose. This makes sense in the story, since the enemies have been seen flying away after being defeated by the strongest legend. After defeating the three main levels, there's also three extra bonus levels. They're all super easy, and also the only time you ever need to jump. So, you may be thinking that this game is pretty strong, and it is, but it actually isn't that good. There are a lot of technical issues, as well as just poorly planned aspects of the game. For example, why is there a button to draw your sword if there's no reason not to have your sword out? This is just adding an extra button for no reason. Also, there's no option to restart a level if you fail, or go to the next level after beating one. Your only option is to return to the main menu. There's also the menus. There's basically no reason for this weird space theme on the menus. Also, this screen serves literally no purpose. And there's the level layout. The first two levels are basically structured like mazes, and thematically, this location makes no sense with the little semblance of story the player is told about. And while we're speaking of thematic consistency, level 3 shouldn't even be in the game at all. And the biggest issue of all is the audio. This game has probably somewhere around 10 sound effects. The one you will hear the most is this one. Ah! This sound effect plays whenever an enemy dies, and it gets just as annoying as you think it will. Also, this isn't much of a real complaint, but I'd like to know how this game is possibly an entire gigabyte. Now, we're here at the final verdict. Is I'm Strongest Legend worth getting? Probably not, but it is free if you want to try it. I'm sure if you've never seen a video game in your life, or are extremely inebriated, you will probably find a lot of enjoyment out of this game. But otherwise, you're really better off playing a game with just a little more depth. Anyways, I'll see you in the next review. Bye bye.